There's a strong police presence here today as the NYPD investigates whether this disturbing incident was a hate crime. Now, Jewish residents in this diverse community are shaken, especially since this comes amid a sharp rise in anti-Semitic incidents citywide. Police tell us about 4.30 p.m. Sunday outside the Island Kosher Market on Victory Boulevard in Staten Island. A 32-year-old Jewish man and his 7-year-old son were on the sidewalk. Both were in yarmulkes. Investigators say a dark sedan with no license plate drove by and someone inside fired a pellet gun, hitting the father twice in the chest and the child near his ear. I grab my pen and write raps defending the prophecies. I'm not the pastor's friend that ain't mastered in this theology. Slave masters can ain't have to send an apology. So know the man of sin can be grafted into this olive tree. At school, we ain't learn about the Persians and Medes. Listen, it's the school to learn about the birds and the bees. Cause under heathen watch, evil plots turn to decrees. Under heathen watch, even cops turn into thieves, nigga. That's how it is on the wild, wild west. Not until the heaven hits the earth will I find my rest. I all right, shallow on. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praise to the Most High God, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Uh, this is your Tabit Sakari. I'm back with another real, real quick video. All right, I'm not going to make it long. Um, you know, I got the ADEL video coming out pretty soon. I was going to put this in there, but I decided I couldn't. I was like, I got to just go ahead and just do this real quick and throw it up now. This needs to be highlighted, all right? This guy, Jonathan Greenblatt, down there at the ADL lied on us, man. Told her unbelievably vicious lie man where there was no truth to it and he even added words to it to make people believe that it's something that an israelite did these guys are wicked and it's getting ready to get even crazier so you guys just watch man man it's not a big deal we know what's going on we know who's who and what's what and, <laughs> and it is what it is i mean but this is just crazy and this is just proof this is proof right here with these people are really, really young. While they get up there and talk about how much they love black people and how they stood with us and all that, this is showing you what they're really, really on. Now, look, you heard in the beginning there was a, two Jewish, a, a Jewish man and his son. Somebody shot a BB gun at him, right? Look at this. It says, man, 25, arraigned on hate crime charges in Staten Island, BB gun attack on father and son. Seven, look at this. This is a white guy right here, right? We can clearly see that, right? We need to do any closer examination than that. This is the guy that, that they caught for shooting at the Jewish people. Clear, right? Like I said, we don't, we don't have to go read the article. We see that this is it. But let's go check it out anyway just to see. It says, Staten Island, New York. Prosecutors asked for bail, but a 25-year-old suspect was released under supervision as his arrest in connection with the alleged BB gun attack on a father and son leaving a kosher market in Myers Corners. It said, Jason Kish of Catherine Street in Port Richmond stood on crutches with a cast on his left leg while he was arraigned in criminal court on Wednesday morning after the alleged attack on Sunday against a 32-year-old man and his 7-year-old son. It says, who were described by prosecutors as strangers to the suspect. It says, father and son were wearing Jewish clothing, including Reckles and a yarmulke. It says, the man was hit in the chest and the boy was struck in the ear according to the criminal complaint and prosecutors. It says, at the request of prosecutors, the victims received orders of protection from the court. It says, Kish used a BB, a BB type pistol to target two observant members of, of the Jewish community dressed in traditional Jewish clothing in front of a Jewish market at or about 4.15 p.m. on the 2200 block of Victory Boulevard near Carmel Avenue prosecutors allege it says the defendant shot at the victims from his vehicle and then drove away quickly prosecutor said so we seen we, we saw the tape of that in the beginning right it says the suspect has been charged so we know this is the same guy right this white guy that we've seen here that was him shooting out that window right just remember we're reading all this just so we can go look at what greenblatt said man it says the sub the suspect has been charged with two counts of attempted assault and the second degree as a hate crime it says attempted assault in the second degree, attempted assault in the third degree as a hate crime, criminal possession of a weapon, and one count of endangering the welfare of a child. It says prosecutors requested bail in the amount of 75000 bond 25000 cash due to the suspect being charged with the felony. Um, attempted assault in the second degree as a hate crime. It says attorney Mark Fonte, who is representing Kish, argued against the prosecutor's request for bail. Kish is charged with offenses that do not qualify for bail under the state reform laws, Fonte said. It says these facts, it says the facts of the case show that this is not, in fact, a hate crime, Fonte said. It wasn't motivated because of religious bigotry. Fonte says he was quoting the law from the state legislator, 
that proof of race, color, national origin, ancestry, gender, religion, and religious practice in and of itself does not qualify as a hate crime. There has to be something more. It says the defense attorney maintained nothing additional such as someone yelling a slur at the time of the shooting happened in the case and Kish did not make any admissions to the police that the incident was racially and or religious, religiously motivated. It says Fonte claims that the suspect voluntarily surrendered to police so he's not a flight risk. It says public records indicate that Kish was arrested on Tuesday. It says the defense attorney maintained that his client has no criminal record and has not spouted anti-religious bigotry on social media or in a telephone text message or conducted offensive Google searches. It says the shooter, look at that, they're searching what you're searching for now. It says the shooter, Fonte said, discharged non-dangerous water pellets outside a car on Victory Boulevard. If you're going to shoot outside on Willowbrook and Victory Boulevard, chances are you're going to Hit someone of the Jewish persuasion, the Jewish religion, Fonte said. It says, there's nothing to indicate that they were targeted because of their religion. It says, prosecutors said that the suspects also was arrested on November 30th in New Jersey for allegedly resisting arrest and eluding police officer. It says, the NYPD's hate crime task force has asked for the public to help locate a black late model Ford Mustang driven by a male in connection with the incident. It says, the out-of-state license plate only... The lattice plate license plate located only on the rear of the car was covered, according to a wanted flyer posted on the 121st Twitter feed. It says the victim, who has not to be identified, told AdvanceSLine.com his son has a swollen ear after being struck by one of the pellets. It says the 32-year-old was struck in the torso, but says his jacket blunted the impact of the blow. It says the man said that he and his son were exiting Island Kosher Market, it says, we came out of the supermarket, explained the 32-year-old victim. It says, he stopped, shot at us, and flew away. It says, Kish is due back in court, in criminal court on January 17th. Now, you see Kish, right? You guys see what that guy looks like right there? Okay. It says, Jason Kish of Port Richmond was in criminal court in St. George with his attorney. All right, here's another picture of him. You see that? Let's make sure we're, we just want to make sure we're not, we're not mistaken, all right? So we just read that. I read that for a reason. All right, now we're going to go. We're going to go right here to this Breakfast Club interview, man. I want you to see the way this guy right here, Alan Greenblatt, is able to go on this show right here and lie to the whole entire planet about us. You know what I'm saying? But it's all good because this shows you guys what these guys are really, really on. Behind all the smiles, like the scriptures say, you know, the enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. This guy, say, they say all this stuff. Then go right on here and try to make the world believe that we drove up on some Jewish people and shot them with BB guns. But guess who else did that? Isn't this the exact same tactic that Vocab Malone does? He'll go right on the internet and say that we went and killed the police officer and don't have nothing to do with us. So this is just letting you guys know that these guys are getting ready to demonize us in an unbelievable way. This is Adam Greenblatt. Now, mind you, I got the video, so I don't want to say too much, but this guy used to work for Bill Clinton. <laughs> this guy used to work for Obama. Now he's sitting here with Charlemagne, sitting here on a, where, where you would think black people are controlling it, but it's not. His people are controlling it. And he sits here talking to black people and lies on us to the whole entire world. Now, hold on, let's take a look. These guys got 5.2 million subscribers. They scream and yell at Kanye West. Talking about oh Kanye West, uh, he's being irresponsible. He has all these he has all these followers. These guys go, they're able to go on shows like this and completely lie on us. By them lying on us, they're they're, they're basically masking him. You know what I'm saying? Hiding his identity. And what's crazy is you're not seeing any videos at all. I had to go read that because there's no news reporting showing this guy at all. You know what I'm saying? Which made it easy for this guy to go lie on us the way that he's you're about to hear him do. But like I was saying, it was done four days ago. This has 133,000 people have seen this guy lie on us. All right? And I'm going to see if this guy will go and apologize or if this is just one more thing swept under the rug. These guys are talking about they love us and we love us and we, oh, everything is similar. Man, these guys are cold, man. Watch this guy. All right, y'all, so listen to this. Watch this. This is unreal. Like I said, this is on The Breakfast Club, man. <laughs> sitting here with Charlemagne and DJ Envy, sitting with two Israelites lying on Israelites. And they're able to do stuff just like this. Watch this. So when we talk about what is anti-Semitism, it's a crazy ISIS radicalized person coming from the UK who thinks the Jews have too much power. It's two white supremacists getting off a subway stage train at Penn Station because they've heard you know, they, they wanted to go shoot up a synagogue. It's black Hebrew Israelites this weekend. So that lets you know black Hebrew Israelites are on their agenda because he's about to flat out lie on us, y'all. We already seen who the dude was that did that, right? What, today's Monday? Tuesday. 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 Wednesday. Oh, it's going to air on Wednesday. It's going to air on oh, Tuesday. Okay. Wednesday. Uh, sorry. So it is over this past weekend in Staten Island on Sunday, a Jewish man, who he must have been Orthodox because you could identify that he was mm -hmm. Jewish, 
and his son were shot by a young man with a pellet gun. Here it is. We just watched that, right? As they were came the out of a, guns. I did see that, yeah. And so Yikes. when he was asked by the police, they said it was a hate crime. He said, how could it be a hate crime if I'm a Hebrew? Mm. Mm. Hey, guys, we just read what the dude said. Did he say that? So this guy just made up words for this dude and just lied on us in front of everybody, man. Do you see that shit? That's what I'm saying. So when he gets up there and he talks and he says all that, you guys already know what the most I already said about this shit. But it's all good. It doesn't matter. This is what they're getting ready to do, demonize us, man. They just, he just put that, he just threw that out into the universe. And guess what? He'll never apologize for it because he's not sorry. He did that on purpose. This was all done on purpose. Go on here and lie on us like that. And then, dis and then at the same time, shield the guy who really, really did it. <laughs> this is nothing new. But like I said, I told you vocab. But remember, vocab's following these guys. And then he comes over and does the exact same shit that these guys do. You see that? This is the kind of fiction that black Hebrew Israelites say that J white Jews, quote unquote, aren't really Jews. This guy's talking about this is the kind of fiction that we say. That, that shit had nothing to do with us. This whole story you told them about us is fiction. These guys are liars. This is a shame. But these are the devil, man. This is the devil. There's no getting around that. This guy just went up here and just lied on us like that blatantly. <laughs> Unbelievable, right? But it's cool. Because like I said, we got the ADL video coming soon. I just want to make sure I put this up here real quick to show you the way these guys are getting ready to demonize us and to show you the type of platforms that can go on because his people own this platform right here. So this is all part of the agenda. It's Charlemagne, these guys, they just work. They just let this guy come on here and lie on us like that. I wonder if any of those guys will say anything about this now that they can see that. And share this video. Hopefully it gets to these guys. Like and subscribe also, man. This is a damn shame, man. But hey, we're on our way to Jacob's Trouble. Vocab Malone's not going to say nothing about this. Alton Johnson won't say nothing about this. But we know Vocab's watching me. You know what I'm saying? So we know that he just saw that right here. And, it, and, and we've all seen him take the, a page out of this book, right? And I might have to put that video back up again, even though they took my channel down. You know what I'm saying? So people can see that. This is this, 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 going to get even greasier, man. Until the next one, Shalom. Let's get to Jonathan Greenblatt. He made the statement that said that we, um, he said the Israelites caused, um, that because of our rhetoric, black people are shooting. Uh, there was two people in New Jersey, a father and son that were shot with pellet guns. That was the first thing he said, because I saw it. I saw it. But guess what? I don't know if we have the image of who shot the two people in Jersey. It was a Caucasian. Uh. And a Caucasian shot. The, that's him right there. What do you mean the Israelites did this? We didn't do this, you lying Jonathan Greenblatt. You liar, you. So Jonathan Greenblatt, use a liar, use a mamza. Use a liar, the Bible speaks of. So.